Hello, and this is Akito9323 signing on. Today I would like to talk specifically about something that has recently occurred that has actually quite annoyed me, to be honest. The reason why I say that is because uh, it was to do with the job. Now, to be honest, I don't care if this gets seen at all, ever, or whatever. I really can't say I give a damn. But the uh, reason why I'm annoyed is that they were biased about the abilities of technology. They wanted people that had computers, laptops, smartphones that existed within the last three years and people with those items to join their, their company and do the work that they were doing. Now, I felt that was rather unfair because before this, uh, the computer that I'm using now is much more powerful than my original computer, yes, but my original computer could run everything this computer could run now, save for a few games, because Steam's a pain in the ass and will not let them run. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm literally not kidding on that one. Uh, other than that, uh, other things of technology as well. Laptops, even. Now, I don't even know how old this computer is. It is... Basically, it's a fake pad. Yeah, I have no idea how old this thing is. I It's a Lenovo. I really couldn't give a damn about everything else. Don't know when it came out. But it came out probably a lot longer than three years ago. I could probably find out if I just looked. Uh, see if I can see. No, I thought it was, came out in 2007. If it did, that's surprising. Very surprising. Whatever. Either way, it came out longer than three years ago. And you know what the funniest part of it all is? Is that I can run games on this uh, laptop. And it's not even had anything done to it. It's just the ordinary laptop. I have played Digimon Masters Online. And that takes a huge amount of energy to work. Otherwise, it's really laggy and it doesn't work properly. Now, on the game laptop, yes, it was laggy. Incredibly laggy. But I was still able to play the game well enough that I could do a lot of things that the game entailed. I could still play it. I just had to be incredibly patient. But nevertheless, it was still able to play it. But also, uh, the other thing that about it, in that, uh, another thing is also this. iPhone 4 or 4S, one of the two. It is not a 5, it's not a 6, it's certainly not a 7, and like hell would I want it to be. But it does everything I want it to do. I can't really use this uh, smartphone technology very well. I can't press the buttons without something going wrong. But I have a stylus. And that stylus allows me to do everything on it without any problems. Perfectly fine. And I can use all social media on it that I need to. I can use Facebook. I've not tried going on Twitter yet because I don't really use Twitter. But I can use YouTube. I can use loads of things, and it works perfectly fine. What annoys me most about this is how biased people can be these days, because they think new is better, new is good. It's not, because you also have to forget that not everyone can afford what's new. And if nobody can afford what's new, then eventually everything is just going to become old, and that's the point. Old things are just as good as new things. Sometimes they can be better. I could not use Windows 2010 at all for a long time because I didn't understand it because it had this weird thing where it kept locking things, so uh, parts of it so suddenly. I couldn't use it at all, not even to type. 2007 was the one that I used constantly, and that's a software. 
I rather use the 2007, which is a decade old, than use 2010 or whatever else exists now. Because it worked. It had everything I needed and had none of this extra rubbish that caused problems. Now, I don't know if it was back then because I just really didn't understand the program or whatever, or if it wasn't the fact that the school that I was at was just a complete idiot. Uh, uh, they were uh, loading up their software and sorting it out, because I could definitely say that not every college is even past a six, <laughs> if they can ever get that far. Although I do know of one or two that are that high. But anyway, you get what I'm saying on that. What, uh, but seriously, uh, with perception wise, when people say something, uh, come up with something and that, I mean, hell, even this. Now, this, this is my phone that I use. I use this phone, hell, I've even used this very phone to do some of my videos, some of my original videos. Sure, the quality was poor, but so what? I got videos up onto YouTube. Because I wanted to put videos onto YouTube, and it worked. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if it's brand sparkly new and shiny. That just makes you the same as a bleeding magpie. I'm, I do not want to be a magpie. I do not immediately see something new and go, I must have that. It's not right. I would rather have something old than something new. Because that something old has is something that I can much more easily use. I mean, sure, I could use any new technology uh, uh, or anything brand new, and I don't even have to look at the instructions to figure out how to use it. I can just figure out how to use it myself. That's just a keen ability that I have to know how technology works. I've used iPads. I've used other systems that I've never even touched before, and uh, yet I've mastered them within the first five minutes. But, so what? Just because it's brand new and it's good doesn't mean that I, uh, and that I can use it, doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to use every single part of it. I might be able to only just be using the basics. But, I would rather be using programs that I can use, rather than being, or having, brand new stuff thrown at me and telling me that I have to use this. I mean, even Windows 10 is an issue. I, I, I mean, for Christ's sake, I decided to try it out and then they brought out an update that logged me out and for some reason, the reason it wouldn't accept it, uh, anything, or wouldn't let me do anything, is because the... Um, Oh, what's it called? I think it's on the back of here. <laughs> I have to think about it. Yeah, the product key for my uh, operating system. Yeah, it had been taken off. It was working perfectly fine. And it was working for a while. But one update from Windows 10 immediately negated that. I had to call up and mess around. And they had to give me a brand new product key just for me to actually use Windows 10. Because... Lo and behold, uh, some fool managed to delete my backup, annoyingly, of Windows 7, so I couldn't go back to it. And I had Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. That is the best operating system next to Pro. Those two are the best. Windows 7, hands down, is one of the best. Now, people will say Windows 8's good, Windows 10's good now. Yes, but first... When they came out, when they were brand new, they were so terrible. They made you want to destroy your technology, not keep using it. Windows 7, however, never had those problems because they were fleshed out. Windows 10 was thrown out there so suddenly that it was constantly threatening to load itself up on its, uh, by itself. I mean... I've only got around the system because I hilariously decided to burn it to a disk instead of downloading it completely to my computer. I downloaded it by burning it to a disk. I got around that mess. But still, the fact that this rubbish keeps occurring, that people think that new stuff is good, are idiots. 
You can say as much as you want about my, my views, but these are my opinions of what I am saying. Anyone that thinks that new is good is a fool. Because there will always be something older which doesn't have any problems that this new stuff will have. Because it's had time to be fixed. More than enough time. I, I just don't understand why people see things as new is good. Sure, a new film comes out, you want to watch it, but the whole point is, do you have the money? That's another thing. New stuff costs a lot of money, and not everyone can buy it. So when people come along saying, oh, you need to have this kind of, this kind of technology, has to be, or it has to be within the last three years, all that stuff was still relatively expensive, and still is. Except for the odd times when you go to a place that's selling it for dirt cheap. It's still expensive. Not everyone can afford it. Because they're on benefits. Because all of their money is going elsewhere. And those of us that do have the money to buy this stuff have the goal to say that it's better because it has maybe a few extra things about it that make it better. But it's basically the same thing as the old uh, thing, just slightly better. It's like having, I don't know, let's say a sandwich. You got a ham sandwich. What's better than a ham sandwich? How about ham with, I don't know, lettuce on top? It's now a better sandwich because there's no lettuce. Or cheese. How about we put cheese on there instead? There you go. Now it's a ham and cheese. It's got something extra added onto it, so it's better. But you could add as much as you want into it. You could add something like gherkins, you could add relish, you could add sauces, you could add all sorts. Just doesn't mean that because you've added more to it, or more has been added to it, doesn't make it better, because in the end, you could put so much into that sandwich and then find out eating it, and it could taste horrendous. Of course, using the analogy of sandwiches with technology is quite hilarious, and some of you may not even understand it. And some of you may think, well, that analogy doesn't work. And I would say, well, it does. Because if you were to say the original iPhone was a ham sandwich, and then they added cheese, and made it the iPhone 2. Then they added, I don't know, what else do people like in sandwiches? Bacon. No, bacon's too good. Uh, hmm. Uh, screw it, let's put bacon. That makes it the iPhone 3. Then they put eggs on top of it. An egg. Cooked egg. Hard, not hard boiled. What am I talking about? Um, fried. There you go, you got the iPhone 4. Now they're just adding more and more crap and a few sauces on it. Now they made the iPhone 7. And now the sauce they've added onto it is a sauce that I don't think anybody likes. Marmite. Yes, Marmite. I absolutely hate the stuff. It is horrendous. You cannot eat that stuff. It smells horrendous. Tastes horrendous. I mean, I had a tiny little bit on my finger, and I couldn't. I couldn't even hold my hand close to my uh, close to my nose because it stank so much. I mean, I also, I even tried to taste it just to see what the Marmite was like. Just that small lick from that small bit that was on my finger, and I wanted to gag and throw up. And I wash my hands of that. So now I don't do any when in Marmite. But that's what the iPhone 7 is to me. It's a sandwich with Marmite. So, there you go. That's how you ruin something. Just because it looks better, it looks bigger, it looks more amazing and shiny and new. And, I don't know, could be drool encrusted. Doesn't mean it's good. Well, that's enough about my rant about te about this. Uh, just felt really irritated seeing that in a job for a, about a job. Sure, I'm working at home, but I mean, who's going to inspect my technology? They're not going to come up to my house, look at my computer, and go, "That is not regulation technology. We cannot have this in our place." And then suddenly, I showed them that it brings up every single social media and every single piece of information that they need, and they think, "Oh, well, it works. So I guess we can work with that." That's what you've got to think. If it works, it works. Just because it's new doesn't mean you have to use it. So, people that think like that, I hate you. 
So go jump off a bridge. No, I don't do that. I don't condone suicide. Anyone in that look thinks like that is an absolute fool as well. But as I was saying, this phone proves my point. It's old and it does everything I need it to do. I could use my iPhone, but I would rather use this phone because this phone is reliable in battery. It's life. Uh, it's ba It's reliable because it's a flip phone. Uh, it well, not flip phone. It's a push up phone. Oops. Same, very same thing. And and overall, there's no problems with it. Sure, the one before it had a problem with the SIM card where it would keep resetting itself. We had to turn it off, take the SIM card out, put it back in and that. But that was the old version. And then that version came out and it was better. But that was there back then. I didn't have this phone until it was at least five years old. So what could I care? I mean, I didn't even know it existed until I had the phone before it. And I still have that phone and it still uses it. I use it because whenever my dad has to borrow a phone, I give it to him and it annoys him. So yeah, that's what I give it for. I give it to him to annoy him. It still has a use. So remember, to anyone watching this video, whether you're an adult, you're a kid, or a teenager, or just an absolute idiot, technology is not good because it's new. It's good because it works. Cheap is sometimes always better because if it breaks, you can still replace it without any worries. Like these headphones, 20 pounds. And I've seen people spend 160 or plus and I'm thinking, are you stupid? These work perfectly fine. They do everything I need them to do. They have this thing here. Oh, look, microphone. Oh, look, speakers, LEDs. And sometimes they flash, sometimes they don't, but they work. So have fun with your technology, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it sucks, or if it doesn't. Technology is reliable if it works and it's use it's good if it works don't let anybody tell you otherwise so this is akito 9323 signing out have fun